Oz Ruiz for Red Club News, catching up with heavyweight contender Andy Ruiz, uh, a few weeks away from his biggest fight of his career against heavyweight world champ Anthony Joshua. Everything's happening so fast, Andy, it's like a dream come true. You were calling for this fight, it was been granted to you, how's everything going? Everything's good, man, we're focused, we're training hard, we're ready for June 1st for Anthony Joshua, and you know, we're excited, fighting at the Madison Square Garden. It's one of the dreams come true for any heavyweight, for any fighter, for any boxer, so we're, we're bringing everything we got for June 1st against Anthony Joshua to make history. Um, the make out boxing, like a lot of uh, boxing fans call it, one of the most legendary boxing arenas in the world. Um, Ali Frazier, one and two, uh, Holyfield Lewis. What is, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you enter that ring fighting Anthony Joshua on June 1st? Well, the main thing that I'm going to be thinking in my mind is fighting and winning, of course, and winning for my, for my family, my team, and to bring back those belts, you know, bring them back. Um, to the United States and bring them back to to Mexico that they never been there. So we're we're mentally focused, we're mentally prepared, and I just got done fighting April 20th. So I'm already ready. I feel good. I feel sharp, and I can't wait for the for the battles like they for say the, June the 1st. Throw down. A quick turnaround after you defeated, just like you mentioned, Alexander Dimitrenko on April 20th. Um, you received the notice a few, probably within 10 days that you were getting Anthony Joshua on June 1st. Did you know you were gonna get, you were gonna get to fight Anthony Joshua this year all together? No, I didn't think so, but I kept promoting it. I kept, on interviews, I kept saying that, oh, I'm, I'm willing to fight him. And since Baby Miller, the, the fight was canceled. And then I think I kept pursuing um, and harassing Eddie Hearns to, to make this fight happen. and. What do you know? We're here now fighting for the heavyweight champion of the world and I have another opportunity to make history and to be the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. I'm excited, I'm blessed and I thank God every single minute of, of this moment and you know, we're, we're, we're going to make the dreams happen. You've been saying that you're coming to get a WBO belt that you should have gotten when you fought Joseph Parker. Why are you saying this? Why are you so confident knowing that you could beat someone like Anthony Joshua? Because of his style, you know, he's never fought nobody like me. My speed, the movement, the, the accuracy that, that, that I bring into the table. All the fighters that he fight, they fight scared. So I'm not scared. The only person I'm scared is the man upstairs. And, and I'm coming for that WBO championship um, because they stole it from me when I fought Joseph Parker in New Zealand. So well, I'm mentally focused and, and I'm not ready. I'm not just aiming for the WBO, I'm aiming for the IBF, IBF the IB, yep, all, all the belts that he has, so I'm aiming for all of them. You just posted a video on your Instagram page about this little kid running out in the country. What is that video about? Talk to the fight fans what it is, what it means to you, and why does it bring you so many memories, your childhood memories of a little kid now that you're fighting for the heavyweight Boy, if you, if you look me up and follow me on Andy underscore Destroyer13 on Instagram, it's just a, a, a video of, of a chubby, um, husky kid having a big dreams and making all those dreams come true, working, um, hard work, dedication, uh, and, and anything is possible, you know? Anything is possible for anybody. As long as you work hard, you dream big, and you stay focused, and dedication on your dreams, anything is possible, mainly if you believe in God, and um, you know, you know? Just, just, if you follow me on Andy underscore Destroyer13, you can see all People my inspiration stuff, is, right. and my training camp. Uh, Andy, ahora en español, toda esa fanaticada en Latinoamérica como los países de Brasil, uh, Venezuela, uh, en Europa, ya en España, <coughs> México, te han seguido desde tus días que peleabas en solo boxeo y son unos fanáticos muy leales a tu estilo, a tu carrera. ¿Qué les quisieras decir ahora que estás peleando por la, el campeonato mundial de los pesos pesados? La pelea más importante de, de tu carrera después de esa pelea. No, Joseph. pues ahorita me siento bien orgulloso, bien feliz. Ando, andamos preparado para esta pelea para junio primero por favor apóyame junio primero en el Madison Square Garden va a ser una pelea bien bien suave bien con todo acción muchos cómo se dice Tirar, golpes muchos trancazos, golpes putazos. trancos putazos en la cara y 
Um, y estamos listos para, para hacer historia y traer los, los títulos para, para América. Ok, ahí lo tienen damas y caballeros, al contendiente de los pesos pesados, Andy Ruiz, tratando de hacer historia este próximo Vamos primero de junio. Historia. Va a hacer historia, él lo dijo. No dejen de ver esta pelea transmitida por Dazo. Muchas gracias, Andy. Te gracias a ustedes. Gracias.